What's up YouTube? Have you wondered how you can use masks in Procreate Dreams to do reveals on things like titles? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator and today we're talking all about masks in Procreate Dreams. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video listing some things that I thought were missing inside of Procreate Dreams and one of those was crop keyframing. Crop keyframing allows you to crop any layer or object and then uncrop it to reveal whatever is there. And so crop keyframing is a kind of a key feature in a program like After Effects or DaVinci Resolve's Fusion, something like that. Crop keyframing is important. And I said that you can't do that, which is true. You can't do that in Procreate Dreams, but some people kindly commented on that video and let me know that you can achieve a similar function by using masks. Now, if you've never used masks before in a creative program, you really need to kind of understand what's going on before we dive in and look at how to do it in Procreate Dreams. So here's the deal with a mask. A mask is going to be something that's applied to another layer. So say this was a layer, I'm going to put a mask in front of it to cover it up. When it's covered up, I'm not going to be able to see it. Now, if I only mask half of it, I can still see the half that's behind. Masking is a really important part. And the key thing to understand is masks work in black and white. So if you paint black onto a mask, it's going to conceal whatever is on the layer that's being masked. And if you paint white onto a mask, it's going to reveal whatever is on that layer that's being masked. So remember, black conceals and white reveals works on black and white. And of course, if you were to go to 50% gray right in the middle between black and white, it's going to half reveal it, half conceal it. So there will be almost a transparent effect on it when it's only kind of half there. And of course you can add black to conceal more or add white to conceal less basically. And that's the way a mask works. So let's go ahead and see how this masking stuff works in Procreate Dreams. It's going to be similar to how masking works in Procreate or Photoshop or basically any other digital program. So let me go ahead and flip this iPad around and show you what I'm talking about. I really have to film the iPad as well as the screen because sometimes in Procreate Dreams you need to use gestures, which you can't really see if I just do the screencast. Okay, so here we are in Procreate Dreams and you can see that I have just put a text layer on. So that's this text layer right here and it just wrote in the word introduction as though I were doing an introduction video for one of my classes or something like that. By the way, my class on Procreate Brushes just came out, so feel free to check that out in the description below on how to make basic brushes in Procreate. But this is our first layer here in our timeline, and this should not be confused with layers in your artwork, okay? So there are layers on your timeline and there are layers on your artwork. Right here, we have a layer on our timeline that is a text layer, and we are going to mask it. Now we have the word introduction here and we want to go ahead and reveal it. What we need to do is we have to put a mask above this layer, which means we need a track above. So let's go ahead and make a track by pressing plus track. And now we have a blank track up here. Now there's nothing on it. Now remember, black is going to conceal the layer, the layer that it's on, not the layer beneath it, the layer that it's on. So currently there's nothing on this layer and we need to go in and we need to paint black there so that we can conceal what's on the layer there. Let's go ahead and draw. Okay, we're going to draw in black. Now you can see that we've covered it all up and it's not masking at all. So we need to turn it into a mask. We couldn't do this until after we had content on the layer. So you gotta have some kind of marking on the layer first and then you can make it a mask. We're gonna make it a layer mask. So with that layer mask in place, that black is now hiding that area of that blank layer and it's letting the introduction word show through. So now we need to keyframe it so that it moves across and reveals the introduction. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to two seconds, just my playhead over to two seconds, and we're gonna start keyframing. Tap on your clapboard, move, move in scale, and now you've set a keyframe at the beginning and at two seconds. So we're going to jump back to our first keyframe at the very beginning, and now we're going to move this. We'll hold down one finger on the screen to keep it in alignment. We're just going to move it to where it's right over there, and now we'll press play, and we get that reveal. So that's basically how that's going to work. You've got to add in your track, color on the track the way you want the mask to be, then turn it into a layer mask, and then go ahead and keyframe it to move. And that's how you can do it. It looks kind of like a crop reveal in Procreate Dreams on the iPad. Okay, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my courses. Like I said, there's a brand new course there on how to create brushes in Procreate. So make sure that you check that out as well. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.